Hello, I have a video coming up that is going to be my first mentor. I interviewed him on Zoom, sadly, couldn't do in person. But Albert, who is a specialist in condominium, has shaped my real estate career. He basically recruited me from a dental school and encouraged me to do real estate. He has been a father figure, mentor, and um, he also helped me to grow out of his office and do even more. I hope you enjoy and um, remember, good mentor can make your career and bad mentor can damage your career. And good luck. Hey guys, it's Harma and I have someone awesome here who has been a role model, father figure and mentor. Um, that's Albert Babayan. And Albert is not that serious right now. He's just acting serious. Do you want to say hi? I'm holding myself. Hi, hi. Everybody. I'm holding back for now. So um, today we're going to make, um, I made a video that's going to go launch about how to pick a mentor and um, how the wrong mentor can actually um, destroy your career or build you up. And then the elements that you have to look for when you hire a mentor. And if you want to know more about it, just the link will be below. Click on it, go to on YouTube, and please make sure you subscribe. But before um, you do that, I want you to know a little bit about me and Albert. So in 2003, I was going to be a dentist. And then I was pretty um, broke. And I begged Albert to just give me any job, not thinking I will ever do real estate. And Albert that year did over 100, I don't remember, 140 transactions. Yeah, crazy numbers, crazy. And, um, and he was... Albert and everybody's like Albert Bond, the condo guy, the condo guy, every corner of the city that he had a condo project, every developer knew him. They wouldn't even list with anyone else. He had a developer seminars. He was the expert at it. And I didn't have a role model. I didn't even know what that meant. So I was very lucky that I got to know him. And it was a point that I shadowed him and he, he used to go to Crocodile Cafe that they shut down had the same salad, then a Perrier every single day, right? You remember better than I do. And so I started eating the same salad, the same Perrier. The only thing is you play piano and I just I was like, no way, I'm never gonna learn that and I don't want to. But, and I asked you one day, I said, your passion is piano and you bought a few hundred thousand dollars piano. And I said, oh my God, uh, why didn't you ever fo follow that? And you were going to Disney concert hall, sitting on the best seats. You had tickets every night. Tickets are so expensive and you just bought it in advance and you had the money to do that. You had the money to buy the piano. You had a beautiful house in Glendale Hills. And, um, and I asked you, why didn't you follow your passion in piano? You said, just because I love piano, it doesn't mean it's going to create the lifestyle I want to create have my passion. So I love real estate. It, it's fun. It gives me, you're also an engineer, but you jumped in real estate after. And yes. you said that now that I have the lifestyle I want, um, I can travel to anywhere I want, watch any concert, any music concert I like, buy the piano I want. And this is giving me that lifestyle. And that was a moment for me. I was like, oh my God, everybody says, just follow your passion and you actually have to have a passion to start. And um, you changed my life. I was very broke when I started. I never thought I will actually have any money to be what it is today. But you gave me a $2,000 salary and you said, um, can you start? And then four or five months into it, you put me in the office, the same office you're sitting. And you said, and I don't know if you remember any of this. It's in the book. I remember all this. It's, yeah, it was in, it's in the book. And you said, uh, do you want to make more money? And I was like, oh my God, he's going to give me a raise. And I said, yeah. And you said, how much? I said, 2,500. And you're like, no, I'm talking about more money, like more. I was like, like, I don't know, 2,753. And you said, you should just do real estate. You should not be an assistant and do more. And I was like, like, 25,000 a month. I said, no one makes 25,000 a month. I don't know anyone. You said, you can. 
and I got licensed and I remember we, I listed two condos at the same seller and then I had three pendings of buyers and my commission was coming over 25. I was like shocked. And, um, and part of the video that I made is about the mentor has to believe in you when you actually doubt yourself. And the first year as a new agent, if you don't surround your, yourself with someone who pushes you and believes in you, you might actually get out of real estate because this can be a very discouraging business. And so Albert, if anyone is watching this and it's new to this world, what would you say? What would you tell them? You have to be patient. You have to really want this. And you never want to work for salary. You want to create your own income. You don't want somebody else to tell you how much to make. And I saw that eye of tiger in you. You just like, you just was, you didn't want to give up. Anybody else, the others want to give up. You just wanted more. And I never, I, I mean, I'm so proud to see where you're at. But the, the, and the small influence that I had on you, but the most amazing thing to me, it's the eagerness and you just took it to the next level at the PhD level of this thing. And because of your personality, people love to, to be around you. And that's, that's the most important thing, the attitude and wanting and not quitting and just going on and on and on. And, be that. and we went through ups and downs of real estate, but look at what happened at, uh, after the downtime. You came back much, much stronger than before. You're so, right. Yeah. And you um, not quit the first uh, beginning of this. You just got to have the, uh, the, the eagerness to do this. And I taught you from day one. I said, do the, the B listing versus buyer's agent. You'll be a taxi driver versus a listing agent that others will work for you. So those are the things I think you all this you learn and the others didn't no and you i remember you will send postcards out and and then people think like oh send postcards out once a month and then you did postcards and then another listing you took you sent another postcards and i was like this is the fourth postcard for the month because well i got four listings take the another postcard and anyone anyone who owned the condo not only they know you but they knew you or still do but more importantly you knew every condo a trade dues if the parkings are side by side or tandem which one had an assessment coming up which one has three floors which one is on the left side of the street or right with the street numbers and but i want to tell them something that most people don't i part of the video that i made was like you want to shadow someone who has a track record not this person who has a knowledge or understands contract that you know because I don't think you and me ever sat down and listened to, to the contract, but you were on the street hunting and I was just shadowing you. And I think as a mentor, you've got to have someone who knows how to fish. And so I remember I was sitting where you're sitting facing to a, your computer. There's a wall. Most people don't know. Behind that wall, I would sit there and I would just try to listen to everything you, you said or you did. And sometimes I didn't want to, but, um, but we, I did. And one day phone rang. And we had sold a condo to a newlywed couple, one of your condo project. And this, they, that person said, my daughter is in escrow with you guys. And I, I managed the transactional part. So I knew I didn't represent them, but you did. But I knew, and because like my daughter is in escrow on Angelino, I believe in Burbank. Well, we have a house above Glen Oaks which is, you know, if you're in, not in Glendale, that's a, you know, desirable part of, and it goes up to the hills and where actually Albert lives. So it's pretty expensive and it's a single family home and we want to sell that. And I transferred the call to you and you, obviously you, you were like jumping because you knew when the leads come in, what call that is. And if it's a nonsense, you didn't want to get involved. So it's called 80, 20 rule. He always focused on the 20% of where he makes money. Then you jumped on the call and I ran in. I was like, great, we got this lead. I'm going to go sit or open. And then you on the phone, you said, you know, I don't specialize in homes, um, single family. There is a Remax agent I can refer you. And there's another agent I can refer you, but you should talk to them. And I was like, what is wrong with you? We, we have 
we had the most listings in the market. But then I look, that was an aha moment for me. It's like, you had dominated 30, 40% of condo market. And then you had a call for, this is like 15 years, like 16 years ago in a million dollar home in Glendale. And you were like, I'll refer you to someone. I don't think I'm a good agent for you. I was like, and that was a moment for me to be an expert at what you do and then dominate. So tell people about what's your mindset on that, why? The main thing in my life is to understand this product that I'm saying. Either you specialize in the area or you specialize on the product. The reason I chose condos, because I, my thing was, this is the highest turnover. You can't wait to get in, you can't wait to get out. What's that? And, this, and, and, and just, and I, some of these uh, units, I've sold them five times from the day that they were, they were built. So I knew all the uh, info, information about those uh, units. And by being specialized I, uh, on this matter, when somebody called me, it was very easy for me to talk to them without even looking at the computer. And I checked the condo market on a daily basis. So I know what's coming, what's not uh, in the market, what's going on. So that helped me quite a bit. And every then, morning I, you had that. I remember every morning you would be like watching the market and by end of the day, you would know what went in escrow and what didn't. So I just, um, and I felt from day one uh, to give a very comfortable feeling to the people and never worry about getting a listing or getting worried about the paycheck. I just be there for them and just to tell them the facts. And I think you do the same thing. That's why people, uh, first they need to like you before they do business. Forget about the money part. Money comes secondary. Absolutely. First is that attitude and then having a person that people want to be enjoying to deal with. That's the most important thing. If you um, could go back when you started your real estate career and do one thing different, if there is anything, what would you do different? Um, it's a very good question. Um, I would do a better follow-up. I, I have a little attitude, but uh, it's like if somebody doesn't like want to, the, the, I usually don't call people. They call me, but uh, I would do a better, uh, the, um, better system of uh, following up and having their names of these people because uh, that could have, should have, uh, I should have done this better. But other than that, I, where I'm at right now, I love the game. I still play the game uh, and uh, just just I still have the itch. As so I feel like the Kobe Bryant or Le uh, LeBron James of this business, I, and the day that I feel like I don't want to deal with this, I'll get out. But right now, I love the game. The, 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 but one thing I do is I do not want to work with anybody I don't like. I have a cancellation clause in all my transactions. If anybody doesn't want me, I don't want them because this is. I copied you on that, and I never had a seller ask me why, except one seller looked at me recently, and and my junior was with me. Goes like, why are you putting that they can cancel or you can cancel? I'm like Albert used to do that is the best thing, but I never exercised it until recently. The seller said, "Is this for you to fire me? Isn't it?" And I was like, "Yes," and I never exercised it, but I'm just one of them and. Yeah. So tell them, I want them to know that. Yeah, the main thing is that you never want to work with somebody who doesn't want to work with you. What's the point? It's just, it's like dating or just having a, because you create a relationship and the, re the relationship is not getting anywhere. What's the point? The, all, the best word in English language, next. And you, you just got to go on to the next one and then create a relationship and go on. What's the, there's no hurry. I've, I've told so many people, if I were you, I wouldn't sell it. And they're very comfortable with that. I told them about certain things to do and they feel very, very comfortable because I have to sleep at night, have the conscience. When I just do not want to make money out of people's misery. That's my number one goal in life. Because yeah. we're having a great life but we just got to have, uh, when people see you on the street, they say, hi, Albert, or remember Albert. Oh, that's a cool guy. That's the most important thing. When I see you, the, what I, the fruits of one of the things I've done in my life, it just gives me joy. I laugh, love it. When I see people like uh, who comes out of, I mean, learning things, the, the things that I do, the, uh, I, I thought I did the best.
So well, there we all go through journeys, and people help each other. And but I, I don't have a lot of people that they had a big impact. And my sister, my brother life has changed because of you my life changed so i was able to change their lives and um you you put food on a table and then and then i was like okay we can be a lot more and then that's where you said you can do more you can do more so i think if anyone is watching this and they don't have an albert to tell them i think it's their job to seek out and find one because um Albert wasn't standing there and trying to say, hey, Harma, come here. I knock, but then he believed in me. So good mentors are busy producing. And I don't think there are, um, I always say free advice. There's a problem with that. So go and find the expert. So if you find an, your local guy that you love and that they are expert at it, you've got to beg them to hire you to be around them. It's not going to be easy. Um, Because I see a lot of young people, we recruit 15 people a month in new licensees, and of course, they don't last. And the first thing they say is like, what are you going to do for me? And what's, who's going to, I need to see if I lack the mentor. I'm like, okay, when I started, it was like, I want a mentor and I'm going to beg the mentor. And it's the mindset right now is like, what's in it for me? And, and I did a study yesterday, I contacted 17 new licensees of our own office 45 days ago. They joined the last 45 days. Only five of them answered the phone. And I remember you used to say, answer the phone on the first call. I don't care who it is. Answer the phone on the first call. Then your, my voicemail was crappy. You yelled, they said, fix that voicemail. It has, you need to look like you're, you're selling real estate. And, and so I, so I remember all this. I checked their voicemail. I promise you out of 17, only one person had a voicemail that said they do real estate. The rest, not set up, not answered, not weird voice. And I was like, and these people will say the mentor didn't do it, you know? So you changed my life. Um, thank you for doing this today. I will um, put Albert's um, email if, or website below just know albert sells the most in glendale burbank and that part of the city that any condos and he has a great team as well and they do other products but him himself i will say knows he lives in a house but he has a bunch of condo investments and um and he always said you can't wait to get in you cannot wait to get out so he creates more return um and the market tanked i you had a lot of transactions when people were like in single families couldn't. So a lot of good things about Albert, you should know it is, he's in the book too. And he had a big impact on me. I will have all the links on our bio. Uh, anything else, Albert, you want to say? I just want to tell you, I love you, Harma. And it's uh, the reason where you're at is because of you. You had the heart and the attitude to get where you're at. And I uh, love you. And I'll, I will always here for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. I want to know what other topics you would like me to make video on. Feel free to leave those in a comment and don't forget to subscribe.